hello all welcome back to my channel in this tutorial I am going to explain about the observables in detail so before proceeding further if you have not followed me on the Instagram and Facebook so here is the link technical knowledge group please follow me there and if you are new to this channel please subscribe this channel so observable belongs to the RxJS library so RxJS library is very very important topics in angular so it it emits the asynchronous values over a certain time period and observable need to subscribe to get the values so I will explain each and everything in detail so this is kind of diagram that explain the flow of observable like from the browser if you make any request it could be HTTP get and post right and that request will go to your server and that server could be any API or, or direct database and whatever your response will come your response will come via HTTP module and the response will be in observable so in order to get the value from observable that needs to describe subscribe right so we'll see each each uh, these points in practical so let's go to the Visual Studio code and and we'll see here so I have created one API in the dotnet framework and that API emits this kind of response which is get type response and this is the URL of an API so I'm going to conceive the same URL so so um, I need to add one service so that service will consume this API in you know, order to get the values from API correct so for this I will type ng g for generate s for service and will say customer so it will add customer service and inside that customer service I will write the code to interact with an API so now service is added so inside this service if you'll see there is nothing so here I have to import HTTP so HTTP from and it is an angular slash common slash HTTP so it's not compile it's a common and the now we'll now we'll import the HTTP client so here we'll write one method that will going to call the API so for this I will create an instance of an HTTP client so we'll write private and we'll take an object and we'll say HTTP client so here I will write one method say get data correct so this will return uh, this dot obj dot get and inside this get I will pass the URL so this is the URL of my API so I will copy and paste the same URL and this could be the return save it now this particular service I need to inject into the component in order to get the value so I'll open my component and here I will inject that service import from we'll say customer and the name of a service customer service so we'll create one constructor and inside that that constructor will create an instance private obj and that instance could of customer service so I will create one button and on the click of button I will get the value of an API so here we'll say uh, input type uh, button or something type anything and value get and the click event I will attach the click event of a button and will say get data close this now I need to define this function inside the component and this is the function in this way I have defined and now I am going to call the method from an uh, a service so this dot obj dot 
now get data right now in this way i can able to you know call the method from an api but where is the concept of observable and the subscriber so for an observable will go to your service so here I need to inject the RxJS library. So for this, I will say import from sorry uh, from RxJX RsJX and here the name will say observable and that same observable will put here. Now this is syntax of writing the observable observable and inside this will pass an object will say as an object we can define any any um, class that contains some properties but here i will say an object because that object will contain any kind of uh, any kind of uh, model that is written from this api now we have observed we have uh, observed this api but here we have seen one point that observable need to subscribe so how will subscribe this observable so go to your component and here just write this subscribe in this way we can subscribe the observable in order to call this or in order to get the value from this api right so we'll say here so we'll remove this and we'll say R rxjs and we'll write the callback method so inside this callback method i can able to get the data inside this res so here i will define one model and will say a type of any and that will be an object so inside this model i will fill the value so this dot model equal to res and let's console this console dot log this dot model So now I have observed this particular API and in order to get the out of uh, data from an API we have subscribe right now let's run the application and we'll see if the subscribe work or not and let's save every file now here the application compiled successfully let's go to the browser and we'll see the result type localhost 4200 and we'll open the console because we have logged the result in console so when i type get i will be able to see the result in console console and remove whatever the so if i press get see i am able to get the result what was the result so the same result i am able to get here right we have subscribed then we then that is why the result is showing here so without subscribe the, we are not able to get the result the so subscription is very important for the observable so in this way we can we can use the concept of rxjs library and uh, in coming vi coming videos i will explain more concept of rxjs library and flatten operators so thank you for watching this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon in order to get the notification of my videos thank you so much